I'm Alex Letourneau filling in for Daniela this week on Chart This. I'll be talking to Gary Wagner on the perspective of gold, kind of a, uh, an extension of what he spoke to with Daniela earlier. Coming up. <music> Gary, thank you for joining me today. My pleasure, my pleasure as always. So Gary, last week you spoke with Daniela and you took a longer term perspective on gold. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to look at continuing uh, that today in the inserts that you're going to be providing. Uh, now a question on a lot of people's minds is, are we in a serious correction in the gold market or are we in a bear market? Uh, how can one differentiate? You know, I mean, that's obviously the, the $64,000 question. It's very easy as what I'll call an armchair quarterback to look at something after the fact and say this is what we saw. But once, when we're in the heat of battle, it's a little bit more difficult. So what we do is we really set some parameters. And one of the key parameters on a correction as opposed to a, a dynamic shift between a, a bull market to a bear market is if you run from, say, a dollar to two dollars, you have a one dollar move, and it comes down to a dollar fifty or a fifty percent retracement, that falls in line with with a deep but nonetheless a correction. If it starts to go much deeper into that territory and give back really uh, more than 78% of a move long term, you're obviously not in a bull market anymore because you have exceeded really the, the low points that you should go in that typical uh, type of structure, meaning a correction. All right, so from what I understand, we didn't see much uh, news on the charts, is that correct? Correct. But from what I understand, prices are in an eight month downtrend on the daily bar chart from what I'm seeing, and it suggested the beginning of a big and bullish double bottom or reversal pattern. So let's talk a bit about uh, double bottoms. Oh, really, uh, a double bottom is simply a price point that has been hit, the market comes off of it, it moves up and then comes back down and that becomes a supportive area. So that, for my example, with this dollar fifty, if the market moves from a dollar to two dollars, comes to a dollar fifty, but then moves up to a dollar sixty, sixty-five, and then comes back to a dollar fifty, that would be your double bottom. In other words, the market each time it reached that price point, it was supportive in that buyers entered into the market, short covering uh, took place, and the market bounced off of that and then moved back up. Okay, uh, do you have a certain play in place when there are double bottoms? Well, it really depends on your overall strategy and the way that you're investing in gold. I mean, for those that are, are physical buyers, it's one thing, but for speculators, for those that trade the market, we look at uh, double bottoms uh, in two ways. First, as a entry point to actually put the trade on, and secondly, as a price point to say that that trade was incorrect. In other words, you would put your stop below that double bottom, saying if that double bottom doesn't hold, then you don't necessarily want to be long anymore. So it provides you with a, a, a good amount of technical information that you can certainly use in your day-to-day -day trades. All right, on that note, Gary, let's get to your inserts today where we'll be continuing to look at whether we hit a bottom in gold or not. Absolutely. We spoke a little bit last week about the fact that we could really draw a comparison, and that comparison is from the rally which began in 2000, starting at about $400 in gold, going up to about 1100 and the subsequent correction, which was precisely 50% when we looked at it in terms of a Fibonacci retracement. And now that the market has traded a little bit more, and let's move to our, our current time in the marketplace here, of course, you can see our 50% correction here. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful rally that sustained what I called a super bull run before we went into this long protracted corrective period. But here's what we're finding interesting. First of all, we talked about the fact that we really have some historical precedence to 50% retracement, but more importantly, what I wanted to touch upon is this potential, what a lot of people are looking at as a double bottom found within the market. And that double bottom is really on two different waves. The corrective wave four 
in this final wave C here. And as you can see, what we're looking at is after the market corrected, it comes back from what, 1100 down to about what, 750, and then it starts up. So from 750 all the way up to 1100, and then when we look at the correction that ensued in terms of the amount that it came down, it was 50%. But what's even more impressive to me, just in terms of straightforward technical evidence, because it is technical evidence that we truly look at in order to make some sort of forecast or prediction. It's the fact that as this marketplace came up, and these are, realize, after 1100, because that was our record top here, when the market corrected, the first break is right in here and it makes this new top. This new top is about uh, 1200. It comes back down and here you can see resistance becomes support. In other words, you had a resistive area at 1100 and now as the market goes above it and comes down, it is really a supportive area but the market comes and then it makes a series of new record historical highs right here retraces a little bit and then here if you recall we had that series of tops and that series of tops that these triple tops that we had right in here confused many many traders but when the market did correct it corrected to approximately 1335 and that would be the termination of our wave four more importantly, it was the beginning of our parabolic move up. And it was that parabolic move up, of course, that took us to these record tops at around 1920 in the cash market. And so the fact that we have this particular bottom, 1335, and then we get a double bottom, we have it here and we also have it right in here, this double bottom really lends technical evidence to the fact that we might have found a really good support point for gold and we could see it re-enter into a more bullish manner and finally, finally be done with this long, long corrective winter that we have all experienced in gold. Now, for those of you who would like to dive into this topic a little bit deeper, I do have additional bonus content available uh, to Kitco viewers. You can get there from my front page of my website. That's, of course, thegoldforecast.com. Simply scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this little copyright right here. Just go ahead and click that. And if you're a regular viewer of Chart This, I do recommend that you bookmark the Kitco bonus content page. Well, Gary, great sequel to last week. Thanks for coming on today. My pleasure, my pleasure, as always. And thank you for watching this edition of Chart This. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to send them to newsfeedback at kitco.com. Have a good one.